Hello Libra and welcome to your October 2020 mid-month reading. This is for Libra. Libra, you can now follow me on Instagram, on Facebook, and on Twitter. And I will leave all of those links and all of that information down below in the description box. All right, Libra, this is for you. If this resonates with you, please like, share, and subscribe. And leave me a comment. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button for me. I would greatly appreciate it. If this does not resonate with you at all, Libra, please do check your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign, as this will not resonate with every Libra out there. Please keep in mind that some of the energies can be vice versa or interchangeable, so however it resonates with you. This is for Libra. This is for Libra. What is going on with Libra? What is going on? Okay, with Libra. Okay. So this is a very strong connection that you have with this person. Um, I feel like I want to say the two of you talk uh, more on the astral right now. But I think I've said this to you before. It needs to come down into this 3D reality. Okay. Um, so the lovers. You could be dealing with a Gemini or somebody with strong Gemini in their chart. Um, the person that you're dealing with is doing a lot of healing and a lot of decision making in um, their life right now, Libra. Okay. So <clears throat> even though they feel guided towards you, um, they're definitely healing from somebody, from some situation. And I do feel like it's a person. I'm not saying you're, you're a second choice. I'm just saying this person has been through some sort of tower moment in their life with a past relationship that they've been healing from. And you maybe you're going through the same thing, right? Or you are, have just completed that cycle. I feel like you're more ahead of the game, more ahead in the healing situation than what this person is. This person's still very much in the struggle. So, but it's a, an extraordinarily strong soul tie that you have with this person. Your souls are connected. Your souls know each other, right? It's just a matter of this person healing and following their heart. So they feel stuck, right? So there's this indecision. There's this, there's this non-movement happening in the situation. And um, it's because of the things that this person has gone through. They are, they're still blind, right? She's got that blindfold on. And they still feel bound to past situations. They're having a hard time moving forward. They're in the struggle. They're having a hard time healing with this Eight of Swords here, right? They do think about you, right? And, you know, this is a very, you know, at night, maybe in dream state type, type of card. Again, having conversations with each other, your higher selves. That's what I want to say. Nine of Swords. This person has a lot of stress on them right now. There's a lot of anxiety, but they do think about you, Libra, right? You're on their mind all the time. And I feel like, you know, this person... They don't want to come to you broken. This person um, sees you as they've, they see you as like, I want to say like a high quality person and they know that they need to come to you in, in a certain way. That's what they feel. I want to say they don't feel good enough for you at this particular time right now because they are very much struggling right now as you can see this is a card of anxiety this is a card of stress um and again they're in the process of healing they do want to move forward but they feel so stuck where they're at nine of swords that's more air energy 
So, you know, what to do, what to do, right? I feel like this person's very much aware of you, right? I do. I feel like they're aware of, aware of you in this 3D reality. They would like to pursue, and there's going to come a point where they are going to pursue you, but they're closing out past chapters right now. So two of pentacles, they're still, you know, juggling a lot of things, um, trying, trying to find their balance again. It's a very difficult decision for them. Um, very emotional here. The past was not kind to this person at all. At all. Two of Pentacles, that is Earth energy. All right. So, Libra, I'm going to read the energies of the cards here. If the sign of the person that you are dealing with, have dealt with, or will be dealing with in the future... If their sign pops up, all the better. Keep in mind, time is fluid. Cross watchers, keep in mind, some of these energies can be vice versa or um, interchangeable. All right, so temperance, right? Patience. And I feel like you have been very patient in this process. Very patient on finally coming into union with this particular individual. And you yourself have been a little bit stressed out about the situation here. But we know it's real. And we know we're being guided towards each other, right? So temperance. You could be dealing with the Sagittarius or somebody with strong Sagittarius in their chart. Like I said, the situation at hand for you is patience. For the other person is healing and finding their footing again and finding their balance again. In order for them to properly do that, they're going to have to make a choice to really release the past. And that is very difficult for them because they feel so trapped there. They feel so stuck. So the challenge, right? Number one, you don't want to be single anymore right and you're tired of waiting with this nine of nine of pentacles here um but this person they want to come to you without a lot of baggage they want to come to you when they are feeling better about themselves they're more confident they they are they they're not bringing you a lot of drama they they're feeling good on the inside spiritually emotionally even financially right because they think the world of you, Libra, right? With this nine of pentacles here, male or female. And um, I just feel like it, it's impatience here. Um, a lot of impatience. But it, patience is going to be required. So two of swords here. The advice, right? Is a decision needs to be made, right? Enough time is given. But this is a card of kind of taking off that blindfold, but needing more time, more information to kind of see what's really going on. And I feel like that's what's going to happen here. Like the blindfold is going to come off. This person is going to make the decisions that they need to make. And their heart is going to be open. Right now, their heart is very much closed to anyone right now. Um, and they don't want to come to you that way. They don't want to come to you damaged. So two of swords, that's air energy. The focus here is wish fulfillment, is happiness. You're ready to be happy. You're ready to be with somebody. You're ready to be in a solid relationship. The person that you're dealing with is not, or, or want to be dealing with, is not, okay? So... Nine of Cups, you know, you're, you're very much focused on what you want, but you have to realize that if this happened right now, if the two of you came into union right now, it wouldn't work, all right? So when the time is right, this person's blindfold is going to come off, and they're going to make the decisions that are, that are correct, and they're going to come to you a whole person, not a broken person. It's just a matter of time. Do you have to stand still and wait for that? No. Because what is meant to be will be. Right? Queen of Wands. This is fire energy. So you could be dealing with a fire sign or somebody with strong fire in their chart. 
Um, so Queen of Wands has to take back their power. And I feel strongly this is the other person. So they're taking back their power. They are um, dealing with a lot of issues, right? Issues that, that have been kind of plaguing them with this past person. A lot of damage was done to this person because of their past relationship. So they have to kind of rise above it. A phoenix rising from the ashes. That is the energy of the queen of wands. Male or female doesn't matter. So this person's got to get their groove back. They got to start feeling themselves uh, like themselves again. And they have to be able to pursue, right? Queen of wands will go after what she wants after she steps back into her power. Very passionate individual. Um, there's a lot of attraction here between the two of you. Um, so ambitious, right? Go-getter. Uh, and um, when the time is right and they feel ready, that is when they will pursue you. Again, they have to heal. They have to heal themselves, right? You could be dealing with a Virgo or somebody with strong Virgo in their chart. They're very quiet right now. They're in this healing process. They're in this purging process. They're in this decision-making process. So their wish fulfillment here, which I do believe is you, Libra, right? They're holding you at bay from them right now, all right? But the wise old hermits will guide the way to you all right so trust and believe that this person has a lot of baggage that they gotta let go of right they don't want to come to you with all this baggage because they know you deserve better and they know it wouldn't work right so they gotta release all of this are you getting tired are you getting exhausted are you getting tired of waiting tired of being single yes but you don't have to stand still. Keep that in mind. Ten of Wands, that is fire energy. So when the time is right, we got this Knight of Wands here that could be traveling involved in this situation. When the time is right, things are going to get quite hot and heavy here between you and this person. But right now, if it happened right now, if communication started right now, and we tried to make this thing happen, it would be a very inconsistent energy because this person's soul is not settled yet. It is a true soul mate situation. It is, the, you're intertwined together. Your souls are locked, locked together through past lives here. All right, guided towards each other. And when the time is right, it will happen. No matter who you're with, no, you, it doesn't matter. This person's going to come to you, a whole person, not a broken person, so that it's balanced and the two of you can see eye to eye and have an, a real relationship here. Two of Cups, soulmate energy. Water energy. Please clarify that Queen of Wands for Libra. Please clarify that Queen of Wands for Libra. What's going on? That's when they're going to be ready to take a risk and to be open, right? So let's talk about this first. So three of wands, right? This person is in the process of completely turning their back on the past and looking out into the future. That's where you are. You're, you're standing still when you really don't have to. Um, so they will make a decision, right? Two of wands, we're at that crossroads. We're making a decision. Three of wands, a decision is made. We're making plans now. So that's the process this, this person is going through. Once they start to feel like themselves again, they are going to be very receptive, very, very open, right? And ready to take risk on a new beginning with you. They're just going through a lot right now. 
high anxiety with this person. And again, they don't want to come to you broken because they know it wouldn't work. Their soul isn't settled with the past just yet. You're not a second choice. You're the choice. But this person has some karmic debt that they have to pay here, Libra. And you don't have to stand still. And I know that you're growing impatient. I can feel that. But you don't have to stand still. You can keep it moving. And when the time is right, trust and believe. They're going to come and get you. Let's pull some romance angel cards here. This is for Libra. What is going on with Libra? 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 You're going to enjoy this person, and it is going to be a higher level of commitment, engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. So I just don't see, once this thing happens, once that divine timing is reached, once this union can take effect, this is going to be your forever person, right? A higher level of commitment, a higher love here and playfulness, Libra. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Very healing energies for each other. You guys are going to enjoy each other so, so much. And it's, you know, it's, this person's got a lot of karmic debt and they're really in the struggle right now. When they are ready, things are going to be, it's going to be like paradise here right? It's, it's your lover. It's your best friend. It's your soulmate that you've spent lifetimes together with. You're going to feel very close and comfortable with this person. All right, Libra, that's very good. It's just a matter of time. All right, so that is your reading, and I hope you have enjoyed it. Like I said at the beginning of the video, you can now follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, and I will um, leave all of that information and all of those links down below in the description box. Uh, please do follow the links that I provide because there are some imposters out there. Next week, Libra, I will be working on the future love reads. And for those Libras that are new to the channel, welcome. I do have a weekly schedule and I do have a live schedule. The weekly schedule will let you know when your weekly reading will be released. And um, the live schedule, I usually go live every day, but Saturday around noon Eastern Standard Time. All of that information can be found down below in the description box or in the About section of my channel. So check all of that out. Um, Libra, I hope you're having a great week and I hope you take very good care of yourself and I will talk to you soon. God bless.